Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of some Building Big with Germ. How's everybody doing today? In today's episode, as you saw from the title, I'm sure, I've decided we're going to be taking a little bit of a break from this area because I'm not quite burnt out yet. I am a little bit bored of what we're doing, but I'm not quite burnt out, so I want to take a break before I get burnt out so that we can come back in maybe a month or so and finish up this project because we're getting pretty close. Getting pretty close to the point where we can call this finished. Uh, but I don't want to push myself to just get it all done because, like I said, then I'll just be burnt out of this world. and You know, that won't be good for anybody. So, yeah, we'll be back here at some point in the future to finish this place up. But for now, we are going to head out. Actually need to grab a few things first, but we are going to be heading out to the Tuscan area from the last season because I have a little project idea that I want to try out. So I need to gather up a couple of things in this area still, but once I get all that together, we're going to go ahead and head out to the Tuscan area. And off we go. And on my way back to the Tuscan village, I had to make a quick pit stop in the Mesa because we're going to be using a lot of that in our builds. All right, here we are back out here in the Tuscan village. Man, it has been a long time, a really long time since we've been out here, hasn't it? You know, it's crazy to think we started this area well over a year ago. Actually, almost two years ago is when we started this area. That is so crazy to think about. A lot of you probably joined when I was building up this city. So, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to be building out here again, but we're not really going to be building in the city, at least for right now. We may come over here and build up some stuff, some houses over this way. And then we also have, of course, the arena or Coliseum uh, that we planned out here a long, long time ago and a big building here, apparently. Oh, and that that was going to be inspired by the Pantheon, I believe. But this is stuff that we're not going to be working on quite yet. Like I said, uh, we're going to be coming over here. We'll be cleaning up this section here, of course, but we're going to be coming over this way. The build is going to be right here. And we're going to be kind of working towards a like a port, a port area, maybe like a port city or a village. I don't know how big I want to go with this. Probably not too big, but I definitely think it'd be cool to have like a port side Tuscan city. We could do a lot of stuff with that. I'm excited. I'm excited to get working on this. But for today, we're just going to be working on the little entrance area, I believe. So yeah, like I said, right about here is where the building is going to be sitting. We're going to have a path leading down this way and a little gateway type thing right here, which I think is going to be really cool. But before we get into that, I need to find some more red sand and red sandstone in this area. But I figure we might as well just walk through the area here and kind of look at some of the stuff we've done. Because like I said, we did this all a long, long, long time ago. And I think a lot of it still holds up. It's not very detailed, though. It's not like there's nothing really. It's very flat, I feel like. Uh, so maybe we can come back and start doing some more work on this stuff at some point in the future. Oh, here's my nether portal. Okay, I, I couldn't remember where I put my nether portal. Here it is. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, but, okay, I don't know why this house is still here. Ooh, a trident. Okay, and some emeralds. Nice. Anything in here? No, not really. Nothing in there. A lot of ender pearls in there. What is this? Oh, buried treasure map. Don't care about that. Ooh, it's baked potatoes. I'll take those. Let's go ahead. Oh, we might have some red sandstone over here. Man, I really... This is probably one of my favorite areas in this world. Probably a lot of you guys' favorites too, uh, since a lot of you joined my channel. Since, like I said, a lot of you joined my channel whenever I was working on this area, but... Okay, I can do some more looking for these materials off camera, but let's go ahead and run up here and take a look at this castle. Man, this is such a cool build, and I didn't even plan this build out. I just kind of I just kind of started building and then just went with it. Turned out really good for that, I feel like. Yeah, it is really nice being back in this area. I love it. I love this area so much. Obviously, there's some things I would do differently today. Uh, I wasn't really as good of a builder back when I was building this, I feel like. But there's, there's still some pretty cool stuff, for sure. Anything in here? Nope, nothing. Cool. Yeah, I didn't really do many interiors back, back at this time. Uh, I mean, maybe I don't do much today, but I feel like I do way more than I did for sure. Even this part up here, this is weird. None of this part has an interior at all, but for some reason, I did an interior up here, up in this section here. If we go through this door, we got a little hallway area here and then a bedroom. Very, very strange. Very, very strange. I don't know what I was doing, what I was thinking, 
Ooh, that's a lot of stuff, but still cool. Still really, really cool. Of course, this is the gatehouse here. Let's go up here. We can kind of see some of the stuff I did here. It doesn't look like anything really, but very cool, very cool. And then we can come over here. We got a little garden. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. I like this a lot still. I do wish the color, the grass color here was a little more green, uh, but that's okay. Not really that big of a deal. And then we got a little target area, target practice area for like the guards, I think is what I was going for. Very cool. Very, very cool. But all right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get back down to the area and then we'll come back and kind of talk about our plan for this first building. All right, we're back over here at the spot where we're gonna be building the project for today. And I've done a little bit of a layout here, nothing too crazy yet. We need to kind of finish it still. But this is kind of what we're going to be looking like. This is going to be a pretty big building. And I guess technically it's going to be two buildings uh, with a little archway in between them. But I think it's going to be cool. So let's lay this out here. So we're going to have a big tower here going up about three or four levels, like floors. And then we'll have another big building here, but it's only going to be going up two, two floors, I believe. And then, like I said, big archway bridge type thing connecting them in the middle. But for this building here, we're going to go, actually, we can leave that there. We're going to go from uh, tough on the bottom, which I don't have right now. Uh, but then we'll go into cobblestone, and then into andesite like this, and then concrete powder. And then actually, give me one second. This is one of the most important parts and the most unique parts of this is we're going to go from that into stripped jungle wood. And then from there, we'll have probably some uh, some rough red sandstone the, the cobbly looking version and then into smooth sandstone into terracotta so i have this kind of interesting gradient i mean it's not the best gradient it doesn't blend super well but i still think it's gonna look really cool i may want to try maybe raw iron blocks maybe we're gonna need a lot of iron though if we're gonna do that so maybe not but then the roof we're gonna do obviously a sloped roof like we've done in the past over there but we're gonna add a little bit more texture to it this time. We're gonna go a gradient from this, the deep slate tile, into cobbled deep slate into bricks. And that's actually gonna give a pretty good gradient because there's a lot of colors of this, because there's a lot of very close colors to these lighter colors uh, in the grout, I feel like. So I think it's gonna look pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. It's gonna give it a lot more of a dirtier look. Over here, I felt like the city looked a little bit too clean. Uh, for being like a super old Roman city. So I think this is gonna be good. Now I'm thinking out there towards the edge of the land here where we're talking kind of thinking about doing like a port, a little port area. Yeah, over here I'm thinking we'll have the road coming out this way obviously and I'm thinking we'll have a lot of houses throughout here. But I'm thinking towards the edge we'll have a lot more colorful houses. If you've seen my base on the Legacy SMP Season 1 world, then kind of imagine that lots of different colors it's going to be a lot more rough a lot more dirty looking because obviously we're right along the ocean here but that's kind of the idea we're going to be going with is very colorful very colorful colorful port yeah we'll probably have it's probably not going to be too big of a port i i don't know exactly where i want to do it i mean right in this little area here would probably be best uh, or we could try to expand it over this way, maybe. I don't know, we'll figure that out. That's a little ways down the road probably, but yeah, that's the idea. Lots of lots of colorful houses along the shore here. I think it's gonna be cool. The only thing is it doesn't really blend with the city we've already built over here. So we're gonna have to do some work kind of transitioning uh, throughout this area. I'm gonna cut down the rest of this mountain here. So it's all kind of smooth terrain through here. Uh, and we'll probably have some houses leading all the way up through here. So we'll probably try to just blend blend the styles together a little bit because, well, you'll see. You'll see from the build here in a minute that they don't really go very well together at all. But all right, so I think I'm going to get started on building this. We're going to go ahead and jump into a little time lapse of me maybe doing the whole thing. We'll probably just do a section of it then come back and talk, uh, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, there we go. Got the base structure in. No details yet, no roof yet, obviously. 
Uh, but this is about the size we're going to be going with. Pretty big, actually. This building alone, this is just going to be the entrance for the entire area, but this building alone is actually going to be bigger than a lot of the buildings we built over there. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't make too odd of a transition, but I think it'll still look cool. But let's go ahead now and start working on the roof. All right, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using a gradient of the deep slate tiles, the cobble deep slate, and the bricks. And let me go ahead and make some slabs of these. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to place a cobble block there as a filler block real quick. Then we'll do some deep slate tiles here. Uh, then we'll go cobble deep slate. And we're just going to kind of make a random mess of this pretty much. All right, you can see we're kind of going from the deep slate into the cobble deep slate into the bricks like this. And we're making a somewhat smooth gradient of uh, all the blocks, I think. It'll look better once we get this all in here, but you can kind of get the idea. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. And this is going to be on the roof here and on the roof here as well. It's all going to be just like this. I will probably throughout the city swap out some different roofs so it's not all completely this. Like over there, I did some jungle planks. I did some regular blah, 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 blicks. I think I did some spruce planks somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where though. Oh, I think that house over there. I think that's spruce planks. But yeah, we'll probably do that throughout here as well. And then probably some that are completely deep slate, some that are completely bricks. So we'll have a good variety of all this stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this off really quick. And then we'll come back and start doing some of the detailing. All right, we don't have much detailing to do here, but let's quickly get this done. Let's go slab here, right at the windowsill, and then we'll do white stained glass for the actual windows themselves. Let's just go ahead and do that there, and that there. And then we're gonna grab a filler block. Ooh, almost missed it, but we're good. And do trap doors there, like that. Uh, let me out of here. Boom. And then trap doors here like that and we're using the warped wood just to give a little extra color here i think it's gonna look good and then we're gonna take the trap doors and the fence gates i'm gonna go every other one trap door one two three and let's come across like this and then every other other one fence gate boom just like that and I think that's gonna look good. Let me go ahead and do this all the way around the side here and we'll come back when we're done. All right, there we go. That's what it's looking like. Uh, let's see if we can get a better angle at it. Yeah, this is better. This is a little bit better. Looks pretty good, I think. Not bad. Obviously a little bit boring still. We need to add, I'm gonna add a tree right here and a tree right here. And then we're also gonna have a little platform coming around the side here. That's gonna connect to that bridge that goes over the archway there. So that's something I'm going to have to do. And then obviously this whole building here. So, so now that we got that done, I'm going to go ahead and just finish up this entire place in a time lapse. And we'll come back and probably do a few more little details. All right, there we go. There it is. The build is done. Well, kind of. We didn't get the backside done, but my main goal for today's episode was just to get the facade done, and we got that, and it looks really good, I think. I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. I was planning on getting this done for this episode. Maybe I'll just throw it in at a time lapse at the very, very end of the episode, uh, but I'm kind of out of time for recording for right now, so I just want to get this done. So this will be done in the next episode and we'll do some more decorating around here. We actually need to add like a little stairway here and then a little platform coming around here and a stairway come down to here. So that's something I'll get done in the next episode or in between episodes most likely and you'll see it in the next one. But I'm very, very happy with how this turned out so far. I really, really like this style. 
like I said, if you saw my legacy base of uh, season one, it's kind of similar that, to that. I actually built a build that's fairly similar with the archway and the two buildings on either side. Uh, but I think this looks way better for sure. And yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys think of it, especially with the gradient on the roof. Maybe there's another slab that can be a better transition between the bricks and the deep slate, but I don't know. I think I like it. I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. Just makes it look like it's been around for a really, really long time, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about coming back to this area. I'm pretty excited for it. I need a little bit of a break from the Austrian area, and I thought, why not come back? Okay, here's the backside you can see now. I thought, why not come back and do a little bit of expanding on this area? I mean, I think it is probably the most popular area in my world. So yeah, just figured, why not? But that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.